Welcome to a world where AI takes your content strategy to the next level. In this video, I'll talk about a new auto-blogging AI agent that analyzes the top ranking Google search results in order to craft high quality articles catered around your keyword. When you normally write articles with something like ChatGPT, you can optimize the output by signifying a keyword to tailor the article around. For example, write me an article centered around the key phrase, how to bake a cake. Let's say I have a cooking or recipe website and I wanna start driving traffic to that website. Whether we use ChatGPT or the API, we would get an article like this. It's good, it reads well, but I doubt it will rank for that specific key phrase. Well, how can we do better? Many viewers suggested a new strategy of scraping Google for the top results of a particular keyword. Let's go how to bake a cake again, and then going into each of the top ranking articles, scraping the metadata, the information, the user's search intent, right? Because if an article is ranking high on Google, it means that when users search for this key phrase, they're mostly getting what they need from this article. They're staying on the page longer. They're continuing their journey through that website. And there's a bunch of other ranking factors as well. But if we're just talking solely about article quality, these top few search results should give us everything we need to know. That's why I developed a brand new AI agent that instead of just writing an article around your chosen keyword, we take it a step further. We go into each of the top three Google results only the organic results, not the ads. We grab as much information that's available and then we spin it into a brand new article that's automatically posted onto your website. The goal here is to shoot our new articles right to the top of the search rankings, which will drive more traffic to your business website. Let me show you how to set this up. First, head on over to youraiagent.com. Enter your name and email address, password, and then click sign up. It's gonna drop you onto the settings page. And now we need to connect our website. So we connect with multiple website platforms right now. We have Blogger, Ghost.org, Hashnode, Medium.com, Shopify, Webflow, WordPress.com, and WordPress.org. If your website platform is missing, please let me know in the comments below, and I will integrate that as soon as possible. In this video, I'm going to connect to a Shopify website. So let's hit Shopify. First, we need to name our integration within your AI agent. I'm gonna call it my Shopify store. Next, we need a store URL. On your Shopify dashboard, we're gonna click settings in the bottom left corner. And then we need to grab the original Shopify store URL. If you've already connected a domain, you're gonna to need to find your old Shopify store URL. And it usually looks something like this. It's a random string of letters and numbers and then dot myshopify.com. So copy this and paste it into the input box here. Next, we need an access token. For that on the settings page, click apps and sales channels and then develop apps, allow custom app development, click it again, create an app, call it what you want, click create app, configure admin API scopes. When you type in blog, Two options are gonna pop up, read and write content, enable those scopes, click save, then click install app, install, then reveal token once, you are grabbing this API access token and then pasting it here. Next, we need the blog slug. This is where you're going to post articles to. If you click on online store and then blog posts and then manage blogs, It'll show you a list of your blogs. By default, you get the news one. Let's click on this. And then your blog ID is in the URL. It's this last string of digits. So copy, paste in here, then click connect. If everything is good, you're gonna get a notification. It says your Shopify store has been connected. I'm gonna click okay. Then I see my newest Shopify connection at the bottom. And on my blog post page, I see a brand new blog post. And this is for testing the API. So you can click into this and delete the blog post. Okay, now on the homepage, we're gonna scroll down and select our AI agent. 
And this new one is called SERP Writer. So it analyzes the top three Google search results to create your content. Let's click on this group. By default, it selects your most recent integration in the drop-down box. But if you have multiple connections, you can choose the one that you wish. I'm gonna choose my Shopify store. And let's read a little more about this agent. SERP Writer streamlines your content creation process by analyzing the top three Google search results for any given keyword and generates a unique, well-structured article based on the insights and search intent derived from those sources. This AI agent helps you produce SEO-friendly content that aligns with current search trends, making it ideal for enhancing your blog, improving your website's SEO, or generating informative articles efficiently. The first step is to choose our content scheduling. How often do you want your agent to post new articles to your website? I recommend posting once every 12 to 24 hours. If you blast your website with hundreds of new articles within the hour, it's probably gonna look like spam to Google. This is a slow drip of content. You can also select your posting days. For blog articles, you probably wanna post every day. If this was a social bot, maybe you don't wanna post on the weekends, but I don't think that's a big issue. Do you want your articles to be published or sent to draft? I'm gonna keep it published. Then we write our title prompt. This is a descriptive title that sets the focus of the content to be generated. By default, I write create a title that reflects the provided keyword, making it enticing and descriptive, ensure it aligns with the content's purpose and appeals to readers interested in this topic. Now we have our keyword list. For each keyword in this list, the AI agent is going to search the top Google search results and then write an article based on those sources. You can do a max of 200 at a time and you can input them manually, separating them by a comma. For example, how to bake cookies or you can generate items with AI. So if I toggle this, I can then write a general topic, niche or industry. I'm gonna go baking cookies. Let's click get items and the AI is gonna fill that input box with hundreds of relevant keywords. So you can go through and delete the ones that you don't want, or you can add some new ones to the list, but this would give you a good starting point for all of your articles. Next is the agent prompt. These are top level instructions describing what the agent is supposed to do and how it should generally behave and respond. So I'm giving you a max of 2000 characters, and the dynamic data that's included is the keyword and the top three SERP articles. I start you off with a default prompt and it basically says that you're an AI content generator tasked with creating unique articles based on the text of the top three Google search results. I want the AI to analyze the content from the articles, extract the key information, insights, and underlying search intent, and then use this information to produce the original article. You can add to this, give it some examples, change the style, tone, or voice. Your results are gonna be dependent on this prompt. The data that you send into the API is the data that you're gonna get out. So if you're gonna spend time on something, I recommend spending it on the agent prompt and your keyword list. Okay, next is the image prompt. So we give you an option to not include images in your articles. I do want images. And this kind of works like a mid-journey prompt. I'm crafting an English prompt in the back end based on the article's output. So you don't have to worry about that, but you do need to worry about the overall visual direction of the images. So something like bright, eye-catching, minimalist, vibrant colors, clean design, high resolution. Add in a bunch of keywords to make your images fit with your website. Next, we give an option for boilerplate text. So this is a standard text block that's gonna go at the bottom of each article. You can use this for company details, contact info, or anything that you want to be the same across all of your outputs. I give you this option right here. And then we have a categories and tag section. Do you want to tag your articles on your Shopify store? Do something like recipes, cookies, baking. Okay, now I can click Start Agent. We're taken to the Workflows page where we can see all of our active and completed workflows. This one is currently running. It's the SERP Writer Workflow. 
Let's click to edit this workflow and I can change the content scheduling, update the title prompt, the keyword list, the agent prompt, or any of the other settings. And once some content has been written, I can click on view history and see everything that the AI agent has written. Now with the Shopify integration, we can't provide you with a URL link and that's because we don't have your custom domain details, but we do give you a handle. Other platforms like WordPress, Medium, or Blogger, the API does send us a URL link, so we actually can link you to the article quickly, but you can go onto your Shopify dashboard or your Shopify store's website and see the result. Those are some good looking cookies. In the back end, we see that the AI agent took three results. It took one from joyfoodsunshine.com, one from sallysbakingaddiction.com, and the final article from Pinch of Yum. If you want to try the new SERP writer agent for yourself, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to learn how to build your own autoblogging AI agents and maybe turn it into a profitable web app, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. If you click on View the Syllabus, and then adding AI features, the lessons that relate the most are making your first API calls, using the OpenAI API, and adding AI image generation. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.